Hi, this is Kurt with Grimberg, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble our FSC 12 gram CO2 magazine kit. This is for your First Strike FSC. This one's been custom Cerakoted, but otherwise, that's what this launcher looks like. Uh, the magazine goes right in the bottom, right there. It's so you can use one of these standard CO2 cylinders in your FSC. Right now they're built for 8 gram CO2 and they don't quite fit in. Uh, so we 3D printed a version with a larger chamber. It takes a donor magazine and what you do is you take all the parts off of this and you put them onto this. Okay, you want to begin by taking all the parts off the magazine. Take this thumb screw out and save all the parts. You're going to need them later. Unscrew this top bolt. Now make sure you catch the nut. Then you take your second nut off. There's one here, 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 and here. And they take uh, two different size uh, drives. 5 64th. And this one is a 332nd. So take the second screw out. Make sure you get the nut. Third one right here. And the last one is at the very bottom of the magazine. poke it right out. There's also a cover on the bottom of the magazine. You open that up and a spring comes out and the follower. You pry the clamshell open and in, there's a nut that uh, the thumb screw screws into and you also have the piercing valve. Um, make sure when you put this in, you put it right side up. Uh, there's a piercing pin. There's a piercing pin on the bottom and the valve is on the top. You want the, you want the valve to, to be on the top like that. Okay, now you have your ball lock here. The ball lock and spring and it has two little plastic nubs, one on each side. What you want to do is twist the magazine like this and use the clamshell to push off one of the nubs. And don't lose it. Here's one, it's really small. Here's the other one. Got some pliers. What you do is just pull it away from the clamshell because uh, the, the spring might be super glued, the spring from the factory might be super glued onto the ball lock pin. So, here's all the parts you should have. You can start assembling the 3D printed magazine. Now, I should mention this is 3D printed nylon, it's laser printed. It's not home 3D printed. It's it's uh, it's really strong. You could stand on it and it wouldn't break, except uh, maybe a couple spots. But they're still really strong. Okay, first thing you can put the valve back in. That goes in the top right here, and it's a hexagon, so it's pretty easy to line it up where it's supposed to go. Now we have the um, a valve holder right here. That little block slides in there and it holds the valve in the right position. Uh, you want to take the smaller screw and put it through the side and you find the smallest nut and there's a little little slot on the back, a little hex slot for the nut to fit in. 
put the ball lock back in. Uh, you put one side of the pin in first, and then, I know this is hard to see, but there's a spring. You put, you squeeze the spring, you have to bend it, you have to bend it really, but you have to place it in the hole, and then slide the ball lock pin into place. That's not, that's not so difficult. Then you can take the little plastic retainer nubs, or whatever they're called, and you want to slide them on to the pin. Might need to use some pressure. And this is this is all really nothing different than uh, putting back together the stock FSC magazine. You had to do all this kind of stuff. So, shouldn't be anything new. Um, make sure the ball lock slides back and forth. It does. Maybe, oh, actually a lot better than the stock magazine. Um, and then, you can put the follower in the bottom. Make sure it's facing forward. Uh, like this and well it only fits one way actually then the spring goes in and then you can close the bottom now you want to take the nut that goes on the thumb screw and push it on the inside of the magazine. So it's in the nuts in there and you hold it and you put the, um, the thumb screw in the bottom. All right? And now it's in there. If you can see. The last thing is there's a screw to hold uh, the, the thumb screw nut in place. So that goes across the side here. Takes a smaller drive. You screw that in, and now the uh, the bolt that holds this thumb screw in there doesn't won't come out. Now, all right. Now you're all set to put a CO2 in there. Make sure it's lined up with the uh, with the valve right there the top of the co2 lined up with the valve and then you can i hope you can hear this no nah, didn't make any sound uh, but it definitely pierced it now, i'm not going to shoot anything right now but i'll uh well it does shoot fun you know what hold on all right let's load up this magazine We just broke a light, I think. I guess we got to build a better trap for here at the table, but the uh, magazine works great. Thanks very much for watching.